Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? Good. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Um, I think. Um... <laughs> Hi, good evening. 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 Hello. Good evening. Hello. Who's first time? Is are you all guys new, or some of you have been already part of the um, online class? Hello. My first time. Hello. First time. Okay. My like, first time too. This is my first time. This is my first time too. Super. Okay. Great. Nice to hear that. Okay, I see Wilbur there. Hi, Wilbur. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good Hi. evening. Okay, so we have Sara, Aleida, Edu, um, Iris, Ronnie, Stephanie, Ovidio, right? So far. Right. And R. Palmaes. I don't know. R. Rodrigo, uh, Roberto, Ricardo. Ricardo. Okay. Ricardo Palma. Okay. Oh, okay. Ricardo. Okay. Well, good evening, guys. My name is Bea Salaverria, so I'm going to be with you throughout 16 different sessions. The idea with the class is to share a little bit of, of everything, also to reinforce some of the topics that you guys might have questions when filling out the platform. Have you all started doing it or no, not yet? Have you started filling out and studying the platform? No, Did yet. you start already? Not yet? Not me either. <gasps> oh, wait, why? What happened? Why not? I don't know. I, I just received the, the email on, on Saturday, so okay. I, I, I haven't, I, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Ah, okay. So you will get a user and a password, and um, usually the password is like one, two, three, four, five in your email, yes. right? And you will be seeing something like this. I'm going to share my screen so you're able to see everything as well. Um, let me see. I'll share it. You will receive something like this. Um, So this no. is like my main, this is my main, I'm a student, I'm logged in as a student, so I'm a student like you guys. So you will have something like this assigned on the main screen, and then you will have like the different uh, sections, sections. So unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four. Usually you have like around a month, like four weeks during our sessions. So you have an entire week to work on, on the unit, but you don't have to wait for me. You can do it on your free time if you wish to go. And the idea for this class is to practice between us, right? To practice the language, to get to know new vocabulary. I will share um, a lot of resources on the group. Okay, I'm sorry if I bombard you, if I throw bombs of material on the group. Sorry for that. Okay. Oh, I tend to don't do that worry. all the time. And sometimes <laughs> I just forget that you know you guys have to sleep and I'm in the middle of the night looking for material and I sent something so but because I find it interesting and that might be useful for you um and then again the idea is to share material to share resources things that you can do on your own when you're not uh connected to the platform or when you're not on a, on a session with me okay okay don't okay. Go. okay great <laughs> <clears throat> okay great so First activity, we're going to start off with a game, a little game that I have planned, okay? Um, you're going to have a couple of questions before, we, because our topic for today is phrasal verbs. Are you good with phrasal verbs? I hope so. Uh -huh. <laughs> we're going to be talking a little bit about phrasal verbs. Uh, okay. We're going to start off with the ones here. But before we do that, I want to play a little game called four, three, two, okay? So let me go ahead and do this. Down. Okay, four, three, two. But you, you all can answer. We're not going to play against each other because it's going to be a little bit more complicated. So you all can shoot answers as they come along. Okay. Um. So this is the idea. The idea is I will ask you questions and then I will. Mm. We're going to read out some questions like name three, name two, name four, name five, depending on what it is and you have to give me the answer to the question okay it's supposed to be fun so the idea is just to witty witty or talk 
Okay, so let's check. Okay, let me see. You cannot access the online platform and you have contact on the chat. Jonathan, Jonathan is your, it's our main contact. Write to him. And this is a parenthesis because some of you are writing to me that you cannot access the platform. Jonathan is the one in charge of giving access to the platform. If you cannot do it, just reach out to him, okay? So text him on the group if you want. That he's the one sending information about Inglés Corporativo all the time. So text him privately and tell him that you cannot access. That way he can help you out with the platform, okay? In case you guys have problems uh, with that. Okay, so let's get started. Um, okay, so the first question. Tell me the name of three entertainment awards. Spotify Awards, Oscar Awards. Um, well, I don't know. The Grammys. The Grammys, okay. Tell me yeah. other in other genders. Uh -huh. uh, the Oscars. The Oscars. Oscar Awards. Hey. The hey, Rings Berry, MTV Music Awards too. MTV Music Awards, okay. Whoa. The, the Rings Berry, I think, right? Uh huh. The, the which Kids one? Choice one awards. The which one? The Kids Choice Awards. Kids Choice Awards, very good. Uh huh. Another one. <clears throat> maybe like in a different area. Maybe not just in. Not just for movies or for music, maybe something else like for literature. The novels award. Very good. The Very novels. Good. Yeah. The Nobel Prize. Uh -huh. The Any Nobel Prize. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No other. The Rainberry Prize. What is the Rainberry? Tell me about it. What is it about? It's about the worst actor, the worst movie, <laughs> the worst really? ed, to every every everything about movies. Wow! Uh, the worst, the worst. The worst. Okay. Yes, the worst. Wow! I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> it's wow. <so> <laughs> it's it's different. Yeah, of course. You always like you always give prizes to like the best people, but then all of a sudden, somebody who's you know, worst actor, worst actress. I mean, Is the Worst it's dress the or theater price. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Let's check out some of the options that we have here. Um, so we had we mentioned the Oscars, the Grammys, the Emmys, the Tonys, the awards. Some of them are literature as well. Golden Globe, Video Music Award, Teen Choice Award, Kids Award, American Music Award, and others. Right? Okay, great. Next question. Ton ton. Let's check it out. Name four. States that start states from the United States that start with the word new, but don't Google it. Don't be New curious. York. <laughs> new, new York. New Jersey. New Hampshire. New Orleans. New Hampshire. Remember that the combination of the PH is F, okay? Like New Hampshire. New, new Jersey. New Jersey, already there? Uh, there's one missing. New there. Orleans. Mm, that's a city. No? Oh, okay. Mm. So we have New York, New Jersey, and New Newfoundland, Newfoundland, New Hampshire, and Newfoundland. That's a city too. Do you like tacos? Do you like tacos? Yes, yeah, we love right. tacos. New, New Mexico. New Mexico. Excellent. Very good. You see, I had to say tacos for you to relate with. Okay. <laughs> very good. Yeah. New Mexico. <laughs> Okay, have you ever visited any of these ones, like New York, New Jersey, um, New Hampshire, or? I have visited New York. New York, okay. Yeah. Me too, uh, New, New, New York? York. Yeah. Tell, me, tell me something unique about New York. Tell me something that people should try or do whenever they go to New York. You go to Central Park. Central Park, very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. to see the, the Times Square. Times Square? Rockefeller Square. Center? Maybe? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Radio Music Hall. Ah, very good. Very good. The Music Hall. Uh huh. 
And also, is there something you can eat like that's very special in New York that people should try whenever they visit? Pizza. Yeah, pizza. pizza. Hamburger. Why pizza? Hamburger. Hamburgers. Okay, but why? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Street hot dogs, like chorizo, but New York style. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can eat everything because it's so multicultural. Multicultural. Mm -hmm. Multicultural. Yeah. Yes, it's true. It's true, right? Uh huh. What other things should they do whenever they travel to New York? Tell you guys that you have been there. Mm -hmm. um. The big apple. The big apple. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. What else? There is a must. Thing. If you go to New York, you need to go to Broadway. Like, actually, check out the theater oh, yes. and check out a musical like Cats. Or, you know, it's not very common like in other countries, but like in 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 New York, that's like super common, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So we had New York, New Jersey, New Hampshire. And New Mexico. New Mexico. Mexico. So we talked about New York. Oh, anybody has has anybody been to another Maybe state? It's sí. not New York. <laughs> no, only New York. Have you visited New Jersey or New Hampshire or New Mexico? Anybody else? I visited no. New York. I New Jersey. New Jersey. Okay, New yeah. Jersey. Tell me something about New Jersey that is different from New York. Mucho. For those of you who have been there, uh huh. Nobody. Nobody. I never been in, in in New Jersey, but I I heard about the city Hoboken, and there is a uh, Carlos Bakery. Nah. <laughs> that's true. Okay, a bakery. Yeah, Carlos. Ah, Carlos Bakery. Okay, is that like a popular yep. show? Like I've seen. Yep. I think. Oh, okay. Okay. I think like he's Dominican or or Puerto Rican, right? Like he's Latino. No, he's Italian. Ah, okay. No, maybe I'm confusing the guy from. Okay. Ah, and what's so special about this bakery? Um, well, the, there there was a show in uh, um, I can't remember the channel, but mm -hmm. uh, in the show the 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 show describes uh, uh, all about the about its his life and his um, business about the bakery. He oh. cooked so many uh, cakes and uh, there are some strange cakes. And I, and I, I imagine that there are, there are so many expensive. Yeah, it could be, it's true. Okay. One of the things very, very uh, interesting about New Jersey, I have been to both. New York and New Jersey. One of the things that I can tell you about New Jersey is that there's a lot of blend of the, there's a lot of combination of uh, Latin America. There's a lot of a Latin American culture more than in New York. So you're gonna see like the main streets in, in New Jersey, like you were saying, you're gonna see a whole variety of Italian. By the way, The Sopranos, remember that famous series back in the days, The Sopranos was actually filmed yeah. in up in, in in New Jersey, New Jersey. Upstate New Jersey, the bear close to Bear Mountain. Um, so it's very it's you're gonna see a lot of um businesses or a lot of places, people dancing on the streets, like if it's Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico, people playing domino on the street. I mean it's very it's very influenced by uh a lot of people from Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic. So it's something very, very, uh, it's different from New York. And then in New York, you're going to see a whole from all over the world. But in New Jersey, it's, since it's very small, and it's only separated by the Hudson River. So that's, that's the interesting part also about the Pringles. Next question. Ton, ton, let's see. Okay, name three. No, this one, no. Forget about it. Let's go with the next one. 
-hmm. Name two of the Great Lakes. Do you know? If you don't know, that's fine. But if you this know, is, tell me. Oh, no. The Lakes. Great Lakes in the U.S. And some of them oh, are some of them actually Mississippi. Also water. No, Mississippi is a river. Uh huh. Mississippi is a river. Salt Lake. Maybe. Veo que problema te está dando con la tele. Ah, entonces es problema del hilo, no en la máquina. Okay. No. Michigan. Michigan. Let's check it out. Oh, it's okay if you don't know. Some of them actually border Canada. You're going to Canada. You're going to see to see Michigan. Okay, so we have Lake Huron, Lake Huron, Lake Erin, Lake Michigan, Ontario, and Superior. So they're like, if you if you look at the map of the United States, you're gonna see that Canada and the United States border each one, and you can see a whole big circle full of lakes. So they have so many lakes. Those are, and these are like one of the most important ones because they're like the biggest ones. Not all of them, but they're the biggest ones. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of pop culture. Next question, our next question is, name four letters without looking at your cell phone or keyboard on the computer. Letters from the bottom row of a keyboard. Don't look down. <laughs> From the, the bottom, bottom of the keyboard. keyboard. The bottom of the keyboard, you know how they're divided into three different lines, right? So mm -hmm. look at the Back last. To the keyboard. Just, the bottom line of the keyboard without looking, just try to imagine which letters do you have. Z, X, M, M e, B, uh, um, U, V, or okay, N. Uh -huh. v, v, M, v, B, X, and Z. Z. M B. C. Okay. Uh huh. M N. And you know it's difficult because it's it's easy to say the alphabet going forward, but then again, think about the alphabet going backward. Can you say it? No. Okay. It's the same with the keyboard. Since we're so used to it, just by with our, but like going backwards, some it's also and just like imagine it, just imagine it. It's difficult to actually figure it out. Or like even your name, say your name backwards, spell your name out backwards. Spell it. <laughs> so it's quite difficult. You're like, oh yeah, it's true, right? Because our well, mind in, in, is so educated to go forward, but we don't educate it to go backwards and try to think a little bit more in that sense, right? Next well, question. Mm -hmm. Name three. Single syllable months. Three what? May. Single March. syllable months. March. March. May. Uh, March. May. 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 June. 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 Ooh. June. No, no June June is two. Two no. It's not June. No, just two. Yeah, June. Yeah, June. Yeah, June. May and March. <laughs> May. May and March. That's the only two months. Yes. Actually, March, May, and June. Yes. Because you cannot divide yes. June. So it's, yes, June is one June. syllable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Why do you say one syllable? I think it has to because uh, Ju and E. No, you have, it says because you don't say letter E, you omit the letter ah, okay. E. So it's okay. just June. Okay. So it's not it's just me. by the sound. It's about the sound. Yeah, it's all about okay. the sound with the syllables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Our next question. Name two car brands with five letters in the name. Two what? Car brands. Name two car brands. Car brands with five Nissan. letters. Nissan. Nissan. Six. Toyota. No. Toyota 6. Mercedes. Six. Mercedes Benz. <laughs> oh, this. So six. Mitsubishi. Six. It has to be with five letters. Oh, five letters. Mitsubishi. Honda. 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 
Honda. Honda. Very good, Honda. H O N D A. Uh -huh. Honda. Five letters. Another one? Hyundai. Toyota. More letters. No. Toyota, six letters. Hyundai. Dutch. Very good, Dutch. Mm -hmm. Dutch. We have two. The shot. Yeah. Dutch, Honda, Chevy, Mazda, Volvo, Nissan. Acura. By the way, people, and I thought this before, and this is pop culture for me, it's something new. I thought Honda, I thought, no, I thought Acura was like a subcategory or one of the styles from Honda, and they're actually two separate brands. I didn't know. I thought they were like in the same family, but I don't know. And then so Scion. It was and the Lexus. same brand that, that Toyota. Me too. Like I thought Honda and Acura were in the same category, but they're not. They're completely different. Acura is for, um, to, um the per, uh, I don't know, the per, the car? Sports car? The, Sports. The exclusive line? Sports car? And the, the, uh, yep, and the toy, and, uh, Honda is mm -hmm. like um, more utility car. Oh, okay. So Acura, it's more like for racing, right? Like speed cars yeah. and racing cars and sports car. And Honda, it's more one. like for the city, even though it does run fast, but it's more like to use in the city or, um, right? In a regular traffic, not to race, not to be the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> okay. I have one. Ah, interesting. Next one, next question, let's go. Name four. Um, TV shows with the person's name in the title. Ellen. Will and Grace. Will and Grace. Excellent. Very good. Will and Grace. Ellen. Ellen the Generous. Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon late, or Jimmy Fallon? The late, the, late, the late night show with Jimmy Fallon. Oh, yeah. The guy with the full karaoke carpool. Oh. Yep, no, 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 no. no, no. no, no. Uh, He's like the, Jimmy, the one that sings. No, Jimmy Fallon uh, was an actor from Hollywood. Now he's a TV host ah, that, okay. from that show. Okay. The late show of Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon. Mm -hmm. And there's this also this guy that does carpool karaoke with artists. Yeah, I don't remember. And he has right a show. Now. He's from, yes, he's from he's London. He's ah, yeah, he's, he's English. He's, yeah, yeah, he's British. Right. British. Yeah, he's English. Another one is the Graham Norton show. Blaze the, the Graham Norton. <laughs> ah, okay. Grace Anatomy. Blaze and the Monster Machine. <laughs> no, but <laughs> Gems and the Holograms. Gems and the holograms. The gems and the holograms. Um, you said, uh, Sadie, you said a show. I didn't hear that. The Graham Norton show. Ah, the Graham. Okay, yeah, I couldn't listen to that. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah, there's like late night shows. Um, also, Oprah, very famous and popular. Jerry Springer, super mm -hmm. old school show. <laughs> People would go into the show. This was like Christina, but people would go into the show and just to fight. The first five minutes of the yeah, show, yeah. fight against them. I don't know. It's crazy. Jimmy Kimmel. Uh huh. Our next teacher, yes. teacher is the Ed Sullivan show. Ah, Ed Sullivan show. Uh huh. <laughs> Christina. Super 90s, right? Oh, Don Francisco in that case. Talk show, Don Francisco Presenta. Don Francisco Presenta, it's a talk show. Yeah. You're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, name uh, three NFL teams named after birds. After birds? San Luis Cardinals. Cardinals. Philadelphia, Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. Cardinals, Eagles. And Atlanta Falcons. Falcons, very good, good job. So you have the Cardinals, the Eagles, the Falcons, the Ravens, and the Seahawks. Yep. Did you guys know that? 
No. 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 I didn't He's that. a fan, you know. <laughs> we can tell, I right? didn't know. Like, can tell, like, he loves American football, right? I do. <laughs> yes. Okay. We just know, like, touchdown, and that's it. That's the only word that I know about. But I need to study more, a little <laughs> yeah, bit more about too. American football. Because I really don't understand. No, they do. They say touchdown, and, you know, that's it. But I'm not really. It's really easy. It's really easy. You just have to, to watch some, uh, any game on the regular season, and you will understand that. Ah, okay. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, promise. I'm going to study, and we're going to have a class on, on American football and vocabulary so we can learn because we need to learn a little bit of everything. Name two. If, if you want to start, <laughs> if you want to start right now on, on ESPN, is the XFL uh, season. Ah, it's the, okay. It's almost the same, but the, the field is a little bit shorter. Ah, okay. I will do that. Pinky promise I'm going to study. I'm going to start watching the matches and I'm going to start checking it out. Okay. So. Nice. Okay. Next question. Name two of the three Stoogies. Do you guys know what the Stoogies is? Or. Uh, hmm. Oh, Larry. Those tres chiflados are the three. Uh, Mo, Larry, Curly. Mm. Very good. Mo. Larry and Curly. Do you remember the Tres Chiflados guys? So they were, yes. in English they're called yes, Three Stooges. They were in cartoons. They looked like Charlie Chaplin with no sound, black and white. They came in different presentations back in the days, right? Cartoons or just Three in black Stooges. and white. Mm -hmm. Three Stooges. Okay, our next one is, next question is, name four, Villains in the Batman movies. Villains only. Uh, the Joker. Uh, Joker? Yeah. The Penguin. The Penguin. The penguin. The penguin. There was that one woman. like a question mark. Uh, Catwoman. So. Red Hot. Very good. Red Hot. Faces. Two faces first. I don't know. Dog faces. Two faces. Uh huh. Something like that, right? I just don't remember. And there was the another riddle. one. This girl that was like a plant. With poison something, I think. It poison was, ivy. Yeah. Oh, po oh, poison ivy. ivy. Yeah, right. poison ivy. Poison, poison uh, ivy. Uh, very Cat good. Woman. Catwoman. Joker. Harley penguin. Queen. We forgot the penguin. Two-Face, yeah. Ricardo. Sorry. Mr. Freeze. Poison ivy. So she would kiss the guys and then they would just die, right? The riddle. The riddle. The yeah. Riddle. Riddler. Condiment mm -hmm. man. <laughs> The calendar, man. Yes. But those are true. like from the, the recent ones, right? Like from the new ones. Yeah. But this Name, uh -huh. Name three of the faces of Mount Rushmore. Do you know what Mount Rushmore is? Or where is it yeah. located? George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, uh, Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt, very good. Yeah. If you remember the movie Ricky Ricon, I don't know if you yes. remember. The movie. Okay, remember that there was a mountain where they, where people thought they had a lot of all their money there, and it was their faces. So in the United States, there is a place like that, but with the faces of the presidents, emblematic presidents. So it's like we have George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Benjamin. Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. All four of them there, Mount Rushmore. By the way, and fun fact, do you guys know why George Washington was the first president? Or how did he become the first president of, of the United States? Do you guys know as a fun fact? Nope. No. Nope. I don't know. Abraham Lincoln. No? No. Nope. Because he, he was a president after the revolution. Mm hmm But how did it happen? Like, how did they pick him can you repeat that question how was he chosen to be the first president of the united states uh, no i don't no idea okay i'll tell you a fun fact when i was like a little girl the teacher showed us um she just told us this crazy story but it's actually true so they were at the main park somewhere in the US 
all of them, they were tired, they were hungry, they had been, you know, fighting for the United States. And they were gathered and they said, well, you know what? We finished, we won. So now what? <clears throat> we have to pick somebody who, you know, to be the first president of the United States. But we're so tired that we really don't want to take the role. So who wants to do it? <clears throat> Is there anybody here? in this town that actually wants to do it. So George Washington just raised his hand and said, I want to do it because <laughs> he was not tired. So, and then everybody else said, well, anybody else? Like, are you competing against somebody? And they said, nobody wanted to compete. Nobody wanted to go against him because they were so tired. They just came, you know, they were without their families for a very long time. They had gone through um, difficult situations. So imagine, and that's how he was picked. So he didn't have any competitors, and that's how he became the first president of the United States. It's like when we we were uh, free in the Salvador. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, España that didn't come to reclaim El Salvador like like them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's Same the story. That's true. That's the truth. And this is how it happened. So. And I relate this to when you were in school and you were in the classroom and the teacher said, who wants to be, who do we pick to be the president of the class? And, you know, people would say, nobody. okay, I'll do it, nobody. And then, you know, nobody. you know, Sarah wants to be the president. So you would be like, okay, I'll just raise your hand. Or a lady that wants to be the president, and she would raise her hand. I don't know, just like that, right? That's yeah. how he was picked to be the first president. It's interesting. It's a fun story. fact. Mm -hmm. Last question before we go into phrasal verbs. Name two holidays that are always on the same day of the week. The same day? Holidays that are usually on the same day of the week. Like they never change year after year. Oh, oh, Christmas. Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving. Yeah. Well, actually, Christmas can change or vary, but for example, mm. every last Friday or every last Thursday yeah. of the month or a holiday that it has the same oh, pattern every okay. year. Fourth of July? Fourth of July, um, but usually oh. mm, the, it, can it can change on the day, right? Like, it's, like Friday? Mm -hmm. Holy weekend? Mm, maybe. I'll give you the a Labor couple. Day, the, the veteran. Yes. Actually, Easter, and I wanted to ask you, do you guys know what's the difference between Easter and Holy Week? Yeah. Easter no. is when when uh, they hide and seek from from from, from eggs, right? Okay. Maybe. That's Easter. Yeah, that's Easter. And Holy Week? Is when Jesus died. <laughs> and it happens in the same time. What happens is that people who, who are actually religious, they would call it, it's, it happens at the same time. What happens is that people who are religious, they will call it Holy Week. Good Monday, good Tuesday, good Viernes Santo, you know, all those days, they would call it good, good Monday, good Tuesday, good Wednesday, good Thursday, and good Friday. Okay? But mm -hmm. if they, if they're religious, if they're not religious, they would just call it Easter because it's the time when, you know, it's people go on vacation. Um, they wanted to come up with something really nice for kids, for them to believe, like they believe in the fairy of the tooth or they believe in, in, in Santa Claus, so they wanted to come some, with, up with something. <coughs> so this is more like something imaginary that they come up, came up with and that where kids go hunting for eggs and everything. So that's what, you know, they made, they made it up actually. So it's not something real, but it happens actually at the same time that Holy Week happens. So it's just a name. One is non-traditional, non-religious, non and the other one, it is religious, okay? okay. So that's the difference between okay. one and another. Okay, and the last one. Do you, can you tell me as many states as you can that start with a vowel, not with a consonant, but with a vowel? Alabama. Hey. States. Alabama. Alabama. Arizona. 
Oklahoma. Arizona, Alaska, Oklahoma. Um, orange, no, orange is a city. The city. Um, yes. Iowa. 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 Iowa, very good. Mm -hmm. Idaho. Idaho. Idaho, very good. Indiana. 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 Ohio. Alaska. Oregon. Illinois as well. We have it. Utah. So we have many, many states that actually start off with vowels, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I hope you learned a little bit from this PowerPoint presentation game slash fun activity, okay? And now we're going to move into another game, but this time is with phrasal verbs. Let's see how good you are with ton, ton, ton. Where are you? Where are you? The WhatsApp chat? No, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's play. I want you to try to answer as fast as you can. Let me check how you're doing with it, and then I'm going to show you resources on how okay. you can get to and tips. I want to show you tips on how you can improve or learn phrasal verbs and use them. Okay, but let's play this little game before we do that. You have to answer because it's timed. Friends, get on, wake up, or lay out. Friends, lay out. Get on, Will. Get on. Get on, Will. Get on. Get on, get on. Get on, get on. Get on. Get on well. Get on well. Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Get on. What do you do morning? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Lay out. Lay out. Lay out. Lay out no. a piece of cake? Okay. Mm -mm. Turn down. Turn, turn down. down. Okay, turn down. That's weird. In the table? Lay out. Lay out. Lay out the table? Lay out. Lay out. Slow runners? Fall behind. Fall behind. Fall behind. Fall behind. Fall behind. Try on. Try on. Try on. Try on. Friends, get on, get on, get on, get on, get on, get on, well, very good. Late, go put, away. Put, away. Go put away, put away, no, sleep um, in, you sleep in late, in. sleep in, oh, okay. money, think about, think about money, think about, think about money. About. <laughs> A piece of cake? Turn down. Turn down. Away. <laughs> away. Turn down. Turn down. away. Two laces? Do, Do up. Do up. Do up. Do up. Lovers? Break up. Break up. Break up. <laughs> Break up. Oh. Cars? Car. Break, Break down. 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 Break down. down. Break down. down. Groceries? Fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up groceries. Excellent. Put up. Way. Ah, I game over. Oh. Groceries. I had that question. Groceries. Hmm. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Groceries. So I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you this. Um, this link after Thank the class. You. So you can practice and play, and then we're gonna take we're gonna go one by one analyzing them. But I want to use the ones that we have in the platforms to start off with. One of the tips that I can give you with uh, phrasals is to do it in a fun way. Try first starting with one verb, and use it and use it in context until you get familiar with it. This is not like the regular verbs that you have to just memorize them or like oh, whenever you're learning how to multiply, right? They use memory, memory, memory. This is more like Put it into context. Your your mind, your brain is is able to only gather at least five of them. So you don't have you don't need to use more than five. Okay, in context. So the ones that we have here in the platform. Once you get in, the topic is um, turn down the TV. So we're gonna start off with turn. So the first verb that we're gonna be using to get familiar with it's turn. Okay, that's the first one. So. Uh, let me see if I have the, the list 
turn. Yeah, this one. Okay, are you able to see it? Are you able to yeah. see my screen? Okay, so let's start with turn. What is turn out? Turn against, turn off, turn in, turn down, turn back, turn around, and, and you can use turn around in different ways. Let's start with turn out. How can we use turn out based on what we're reading here in context? In your life, I want you to apply it to your life or to your situations or to, to what you guys do every day. Because the idea is to put this into context, okay? Maybe I can say that I turn out the, the dog of my room. I don't know. Turn out, it's something like when things don't go well. For example, uh, the meeting oh. today didn't turn out well. So okay. it didn't have good results, for example. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a result, as you say. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a result on something you do. Oh my God, my car didn't turn out to be the way I was expecting it to, for example. Okay. My, my interview don't, didn't, like my interview didn't turn out like I was expected. Exactly. Like I was expecting. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good stuff. Mm -hmm. Any other examples with turnout? With your lives, with your situations, with something perhaps that happened to you on this crazy Monday? <laughs> when I fix it, my computer, it, um, it was thrown out. No. When I when I was fixing my computer, it didn't turn out the way it was supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. It could be. No resultó no, nada bien. Something no. like that. Mm -hmm. Es una pesadilla. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I was turning on my computer, when I was fixing my cell phone, when I was um, parking, it didn't turn out to be the way I was hoping it was. Um, the meeting didn't turn out well at the office. Um, the teacher didn't turn out to be the one, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're like, no. <laughs> teacher Beatriz, yes. can you send us a link of the English Corporation function that, that uh, net uh, with the level, with our level? Sorry, can if, I, if I can send if you can send us the link of this level because ah. I can found it. Oh, okay. I'll do it right now here. Um, okay. but with mm -hmm. with mm, let me let me let me take the finish of the class of the class. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what Thank is you. it that you need? Do you need the link to actually access the website? Yeah. Okay. Because I don't know, but I, I guess that I didn't receive the receive the receipt, receive the email. Okay. Oh, uh, we Thank have you. a we have a chat. We have a chat. Are you all in the chat? Is everybody in the chat? I guess. Uh, what's up? No, I'm not in no. the chat. No. no. Um, is is chat. in the turn down of the, no is. Uh, Let me send the I don't know how, how I can say you. Es la parte de abajo de la pantalla. Solo se acercan y se, se desplazan hacia abajo y con el puntero y ahí va a aparecer. Uh, no, no, no. But th this is the Zoom chat. I was talking about the chat on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Uh, I'm not. No. No. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I think I have the link, I'm, but yes. I didn't, didn't enter on that. Okay, give me they didn't one. send you the email because Jonathan sent an email and, and you can activate your account. I'm going to link. send all the information Jonathan sent uh -huh. right now with the, the, so you can, I'm going to send it here on WhatsApp. I'm sorry, on Zoom, on the chat we have here, and then you can access from here, okay? The WhatsApp link and... I, I have the link. I can send you uh, the chat. Okay. No moment. Because I I sent something right now. 
the link, the meeting ID, the time mm -hmm. for the the WhatsApp link, and the list of if you if you ever miss a class by any reason, um, you can always go and check the classes there. They're recorded, and you can check them out there. Okay. Thank you. And, uh, there's a YouTube list, so there's a playlist. At the end of the month, you will see like 16 videos with all these classes. So you. So you guys are famous. You're going to be on YouTube. No. <laughs> All going to be on YouTube. Hopefully we're going to get our, no, our statue. Turito, so, turito, no, Thank you, okay. So we have, I sent you the info on, on the group, okay? Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Okay. Let me check. Going back here. Okay, so going back to this one. Okay. So we're talking about turning out. So when things don't turn out good, say you use turn out, okay? When my meeting didn't turn out good, etc. What what is turn against? Turn against opposition or contradiction. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like you like repair or it's como que lo vuelves a poner en su lugar. It's when you go on opposite way okay. of somebody. For example, um, I know this is not a good example to use, but I'm going to use it. Um, for example, you fight. You fight with your brother or sister, and then you go and complain, and say, "Oh, you know, he turned against me." Mm -hmm. Like he was, you know. And when you complain or you just, you know, you feel bad, you say, "He turned against me. He's not on my side anymore." So turn against is like first he was on your side, but then he turned against. So against is the opposite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Against. So he turned his back on me, or he turned against. Turn again. Me. Against. Again. The again. A, again. The A I is a again. 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 So never again. again. It's against. Mm -hmm. Again. Against. Again. 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 Uh -huh. Like the best. <laughs> again, again. Like rage against the machines. Very good. Somebody mm. can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next no, one. I Turn off. From the 90s. I know. I know. I... Turn off. How can we use turn off? Turn off. Turn off. Turn off, uh, turn off the lights. Yes. Turn off the tea. Mm -hmm. This is an easy one. So see what I want you to do. This is another tip. Don't focus on the phrases that you already use. You turn off the light, you turn off the TV. This, are, this is like one of the most popular ones that we use, especially when we're learning the language. So turn off is not the one that we should worry about. The ones that we're gonna start practicing are turn out, turn against, okay? Turn around, do we use turn around? Turn around every night. Yeah, like that. Again, again, please. Like the turn around, like the song. Yeah, turn around. Turn around the bow. Again. 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 Turn around. Turn around has two meanings, no? Yes. What's the first one? The that you say when you Turn around and, uh, and, and the example here. Uh -huh. rotate. rotate, very good. That's a good rotate. synonym. Yes. Rotate. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, the other meaning is be duplicious. Uh -huh. Duplicious? You can you just me, answer that it was put it into context. Put it into context. Mm. I don't know. What is the meaning of duplicious? Ah, I got it. Duplicity, como duplicidad. Mm. Well, not like that. Hmm. But put no, it into context. Como que no te puedes echar para atrás. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But try to, okay. But try to put it in a sentence in context of things that would happen to you on a daily basis or situation. It's a trait. It's a trait, yeah. But mm-hmm. put it into context in a sentence. Mm-hmm. Hey, we had a plan. You can't Don't turn you around. Can't just turn around. Oh, okay. and leave us here. Yeah. Don't turn around. We already have a plan set, right? Whenever you make plans and you already paid for that, and then you can't turn around on people just overnight. You can't. Oh, okay. Or immediately. Uh-huh, you can. Like we have a race. You can turn. You can turn around. Can't turn around. Yeah. Can't turn around. There's I'll no leave way. Me there's alone. no way. Uh-huh. There's no way around. There's no way back. Yeah. It's, okay. it's a synonym. Mm-hmm. Turn around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. What about turn in? Let's talk about turn in. Can you guys go to the university? Some of yes, you go to the yes. university? Okay, so yes. if you go to the university or you study, you have to turn in homework. So the mm-hmm. teacher says, okay, guys, you know what? For tomorrow, you have to turn in a report on this, a summary on this, okay? Mm-hmm. So it's to turn in, to give in. So you turn in to complete something like, or like we turn something. in with this video conference with the exactly. English video conference. Yeah. So but it's more like for something that you have to return. Or you have ah, to okay. For example, okay. I'll give you I don't know if you guys remember Blockbuster. Yes. Or am I too old? Okay. Uh, or am I too old to talk about okay? So Blockbuster, remember that if you didn't turn in your movies on time. You would have to pay a fee, right? Mm-hmm. And they even okay. had a, a box, a mailbox, where you can actually go and, and, and turn. So in the mailbox, you can turn them in. So you can do it through the mailbox, or you could go to the front desk and say, "Hey, I'm 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 bringing my, you know, my VHS." Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's to turn in, to give in. Uh huh. Okay, turn in. Um. What about turn now? Refuse turn, down. Mm-hmm. turn down. Guys, tomorrow, please, I want you to be connected at 9 p.m. Don't turn me down, please. So don't turn down is the same. It's like, please comply with something. Okay, so turn down. Mm-hmm. 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 But it can also mean refuse or decline. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, for example, if you didn't like somebody off, you're looking for a cell phone, and said an iPhone or a Huawei or an Android, right? You're thinking, should I go with an iPhone? And then said, no, you know what? I'm gonna turn down your offer on your iPhone. I'm gonna stay with Android. Um, so it's also you're gonna say, no, I I have to say no. It's another way of saying, no, I have to say no to your offer. So it usually works with whenever you have offers or proposals and you say, no, I, I will have to say no. So it's another way of saying, no, I have to say no. I'm going to have to turn down on that offer. Like when you say, paso, it's the same way of saying turning down. Okay. okay. For, for example, to down coffee uh, or to down uh, coffee? milk Ex- or milk. Yeah. Mm. Turn down coffee? No. No. Decision? No. With decisions? Mm. With decision, decisions? No. But, but on an invitation. For example, hey, I'm inviting you to Starbucks. You know what? I'm going to have to turn you down because I have a meeting at that time. Mm. And I can't go. Mm. Or I have another. Um, I already have something else to do. And I can't uh, stay, but I yeah, can't tomorrow. Yeah. Let me a meeting at okay. time. Many time. Yeah, so it's more uh, like it's related more to when somebody asks you something and you have to say no, you have to say, sorry, I can't. So you're turning that person down. You're declining, you're saying, no, I'm sorry, and I can't go. Mm-hmm. For an offer, okay. too. For an offer, Thanks. too. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. We're good. Okay. And turn back. To 
Turn. There's a song I'm sure that the name of that song is If I Could Turn Back Time. If I Could Turn Back Time, very good. Yeah. I wish I could turn I wish I could turn back time to the 90s. I love uh -huh. the 90s. Okay, so I wish I could turn back time. Return, return. Like go back in time, yes, or or take it back mm -hmm. to its origin. Take it back to its origin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Movie, turn back, so turn back. So we have today. I'm gonna send you this image at the end of the class. What I want you to do is start using them in your context. Okay, start using them. Okay. Please. Okay. Like turn on, turn off, turn around. Okay. Turn, turn out, turn against. Okay. And start using them. And don't worry about the rest of the phrase. I will send you material, but go one step at a time. Okay. Because if not, you will collapse, and I don't want you to collapse. There's like 360 phrasal verbs right now, and I just want you to learn five, not 360, okay? Okay, time. again, time flies with you. It's incredible. One hour is already gone. So I will be seeing you tomorrow. I will be sending you material to the group, okay? Okay. Any of you guys have any okay. other questions? Well, thank you so much for joining today. It was a pleasure meeting you. I hope you enjoyed this class. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really thank like you. it. Thank you. I really okay. like it. Yes. That's thank good you. to hear. Yes. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. You too. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you.